Good evening and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I've got the privilege of reviewing a sample and I want to thank Sunny um, from Hillcrest Bottolo here in New Zealand for sponsoring me for this particular review. So this is the signature cast strength, signature vintage cast strength, 49.3% Kalila 32 year old, 1983 to 2016. So Kalila, a little background on Kalila, I believe it is the first Kalila that I've reviewed, so just a little background on it is an Isla whiskey. It is also referred to as a gentleman's Isla, because, Isla whiskey because it is not so rough, it is not so unbalanced and unintegrated as Laphroaig and at times the Ardbeg. So it is a slightly softer, heavily peated Isla whiskey if that even exists. So softer, heavily peated Isla whiskey. Now, a little bit about Kalila. You will actually find, um, so Kalila is now owned by Diageo, and you will find the Kalila single malts blended into Black Bottle, Blended Whiskey, and Johnny Walker's as well. So whether or not it's a huge part of Johnny Walker, it's, it's probably some of the smoke and um, oily uh, portion of the blending of that. But a lot of their whiskies do go to the blends, um, but they do have their own single malt releases as well. But this is a particular single barrel, 32 year old cast strength and at 49.3 percent it kind of makes sense with the age you know it's not an overly active barrel but 49.3 32 years old it's still be an interesting um it'll still be an interesting um whiskey to try and it's actually my birth year as well 1983 here's to that sort of start nosing Ooh. You do get that peat and smoke in there. Not too heavy actually. Now the reason for that as well is that the peat phenols and the strength actually generally subsides with age. So at 32 years it's definitely had chance to subside but it's not too heavy. I'm getting nectarine. I'm getting a caramel I'm getting a coconut. I'm getting a spice and cinnamon. Well, I'm not getting that much more. A slight salinity. Let's see how it is with water. <clears throat> Mm, with water, white pepper comes out a little bit. A little bit more fruitiness. More plum. I'm getting a bit of plum in there. Well, it's quite unusual actually, but I'm getting a distinct plum, like a, a dark red plum. I'm getting a bit of tannin. A very slight meatiness right in the end there, with water. I'm just taking my time because with something like this, look, it's, it's 32 years in the making, so you just want to give it your time, you know? I'm getting a slight herbal note now. Some slight savouriness coming through. But it's amazing because the, the peat is quite mellow. It's not too heavy at all. I mean, you can smell it there. You can smell there's something in there that's resiny, oily, peaty. But it's not overpowering. It's not, it's relatively well integrated when it comes to the smell. Mmm, I'm getting some butter in there. Something buttery. So the note is very complex, not disappointing at all. In fact, I'm actually really having fun smelling this. It's really pleasurable to just nose, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm getting vanilla. Now, just in case you're wondering what that sound is, that's this um, cute, cute dog over here walking around 
snorting along. Now let's have a sip. Mmm. 49.3%. It is quite high in alcohol. Um, there's a little there's a little stink of the alcohol actually. It's not mellow, but it's not rough. So it is it's not bad. Um, I'm getting the taste in the nose are very different. The taste is very savory. The taste is the taste is very savory. The taste is very much I'm getting um, almost like a gumboot campfire burnt seaweed you know when you're on the beach and you're burning wood and bits of organic material on the beach and you're getting that i'm definitely getting that here i'm getting a little bit of bandage glue but not as heavy that's more of an ad big esque one usually but some clueless have it but i'm not getting that bandage glue so much i'm getting a tannin-y black tea i'm getting a hint of coconut And uh, a little bit of um, a grapefruit, a grapefruit kind of pith, grapefruit pith bitterness in the end. But overall, a very pleasant dram. It's quite medicinal and herbal. So it's very medicinal and herbal. I wouldn't say it's a dessert dram, it's very medicinal and herbal. It is not easy drinking by all means. Let's try it with water. So with water, more sweetness comes through. More fruit and sweetness comes through with water, but it's still very savory, still very saline. With water, and this might sound a little strange, what I'm getting is you imagine going for a walk on a wharf, um, the docks, and you have the wet wood that's been soaking in salt water, you know, that sand, you know, you've got the metallic smell of the rusty nail. I'm getting that taste from this. Now, I don't know what that taste is from. I mean, 30, 30 plus years in a barrel with the metal band around the barrel, that could be the influence that might be starting to come through. And maybe that takes a long time to come through in a, in a younger whiskey and you don't get that. But I'm basically getting something like, you know, a, I'd say like a, a firewood shed, old rope, you know, like old rope, old cloth. A little white pepper, it's buttery, very oily, a very nice dram. So with the two, with the two, the finish, super oily, super, it's quite heavy, oily. It is not something that just is easy, smooth drinking. So it's not something you can just sit in front of a fire like, you know, oh yeah, I'm just going to drink it. It needs, you need to think about this dram. Would I buy this again? Well, I didn't buy this one, and um, I certainly do appreciate tasting it, tasting a part of history. It's about seven to eight hundred dollars for a bottle of this, so so it's, it's it's up there. Would I try it again? Oh, sorry, would I buy it again? Well, it's generally for that price, it's pretty hard to justify, to be completely honest, because it is not overly complex to the point where you go, wow, that is just crazy. I mean, I've had younger Kalilas that are better, to be frank. Is it a good whiskey? Yes, it is a very good whiskey. Um, if um, if you don't mind dropping seven to eight hundred dollars on a bottle, um, you know, with a bit of character, definitely, I definitely think it's a go. But look, I think that it is very expensive, and it is, um, yeah, like I said, I've had younger whiskies that are slightly better, younger Kalilas that are slightly better. Um, cigar pairings, I'd probably pair this with a sweeter, a sweeter cigar, a triple Maduro, double Maduro, or a Maduro because, or I'm sure for to Añejo, because the sweetness will be quite nice with the savouriness of this as well, it'll be a bit of a balance. Um, but apart from that, you know, sometimes 
sometimes whiskies like this, when they get to a certain age, it's almost a bit of a shame to, you know, to have something too heavy of a cigar with them because at the end of the day, you know, like you want to taste the whiskey as is, right? Um, although I believe that a whiskey experience could be enhanced by a cigar, a good cigar. Um, but thank you very much for joining me today. And if you've got any questions about the Kalila distillery or this particular dram, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of it? And um, see you again next time. And if you like what you're watching, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And um, tell all your whiskey loving and cigar loving friends as well. Cheers.